Okay, the next thing we're going to do is the wheel constraints. So we're going to go ahead and open the train assembly. Make sure you're working under the mini train IPJ. And we'll go ahead and open. Okay, as you can see, when you start moving the wheels, they can kind of trip over themselves and, and the linkage arm starts going really weird ways. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and double click on the part on the wheel and then that'll isolate that parts for further editing what I want to do is I want to make a work plane so that I can go ahead and constrain all the wheels at the same um, at the same time so go to work features we're going to select axis we're going to put an axis in the center of the wheel and we're also going to put an axis over here and this little peg that's sticking out. Okay, so we have two axes, this one and this one. What we want to do is we want to create a work plane connecting this axis and this axis. As soon as I do that and I return, all of my wheels should have a work plane. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and rotate these wheels just so that I can have the work planes to work with. So I'm going to click on constraint. We're going to use an angular constraint, angle constraint. Make sure that you choose a directed angle. And we're going to have these work planes facing the same way all the time. So we're going to click on apply. Let's look at the other side. Make sure that you click on the work planes. Click on apply. Okay, let's go ahead and cancel out. So these wheels shouldn't be moving in weird ways. And this one also has been fixed. Looks like it's going to be okay. Let's go ahead and put some of these constraints from one side to the other. We're going to leave one set of wheels with the linkage arm in the bottom and the other set will have the linkage arm on the top. Now let's go ahead and constrain, angle constraint, direct an angle, and we'll go ahead and choose the work planes. Make sure that you're clicking on the work plane and this one. Make sure that one linkage arm is on the top and the other one is on the bottom. And click on apply. Okay, cancel. Now if I move one set of wheels, the other set of wheels, should also be moving. Okay, looks like we've constrained our wheels. The last thing that we would want to do is open the wheels, and turn off the work plane, right click visibility, open the work plane, turn off the visibility on the work axis as well. So that's for wheel two. Let's do the same thing for wheel one. Right click, turn off visibility for the work axis and the work planes. Let's do wheel 3. Turn off the visibility for the work axis. Turn off the visibility for the work plane. And let's do the same thing for wheel 4. Turn off the visibility for the work axis. Turn off the visibility for the work plane. Okay, looks like our train has been assembled and it's constrained. Looks like everything is okay. We'll go ahead and save. Click on yes to all. Okay. And we're done.